Well, good evening, everybody, um, and I hope that you're all enjoying yourselves so far. So, firstly, on behalf of my wife and I, I would like to deeply thank you all for joining us to witness our marriage and to celebrate with us on such a special day. I think everybody today can agree with me on how stunning you look. Nothing could have prepared me for seeing you walk down the aisle. Many of you will know that Hannah and I first met at Edenmore. Little did I know that I was training my future wife how to wash and clean glasses correctly. <laughs> but at least it'll come in handy. <laughs> at the start of every week, we would ring up to find out when we were working. And it was only after we started dating that I found out that Hannah would ring up in anticipation to find out if she was working with me. <laughs> At the beginning of our relationship, I think Hannah will agree with saying with me that I was a very loved person. Where one or two word answers with my guys was normal, Hannah was thinking to herself, does he even like me? However, I must have done something right for her to stick through me tonight. Although they couldn't be here today, I'd like to take this opportunity to apologise to Hannah's colleagues. I think there have been numerous days where Hannah has called and emailed more people about our wedding than working for Translink. <laughs> so, Liz, as of now, Hannah is back to full duty. <laughs> of course, a day today, like, like today, would not have happened without you. You had a plan for every little detail in your head, and I was just there to help and organise. We had a few bumps in the road, but everything has turned out just perfect, so thank you. I, however, did have a few important roles to play. A lot of you won't know, but I am a self officially self-appointed counsellor, de-stressor and provider of snacks. <laughs> Who knew that organising a wedding required so many bags of popcorn and Loki bars? <laughs> you're firm yet kind, you're gentle yet strong, you have an infectious laughter and your personality always brightens up a room. You love to just chat away to me on everything, about everything and anything and I'm more than happy to take it all in and just listen. You make me a better man and I hope that I can provide for you and be everything that you need. I can't wait to see what the future holds for us and our adventure has only just begun. So could you be all please upstanding and raise your glasses to Hannah. I, Mark, take you, Hannah, take you, Hannah, to be my wife, to be my wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death us do part, till death us do part. According to God's holy law, according to God's holy law, this is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Your turn, Hannah. I, Hannah. I, Hannah. Take you, Mark. I take you, Mark. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. <laughs> I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. And all that I have, I 
share. And all that I have, I share with you. In the name of God. In the name of God. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Seriously, it's like a bangle, and she still has to shove it on. In the presence of God, and before this congregation, Mark and Hannah have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, get ready, in the name of God, I pronounce that they are husband and wife. And Mark, you may kiss your bride. One, two, three, four. 